guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm gonna be doing a little valentine's haul of the things that i got my kids for valentine's day i know it is completely not normal to get your kids things for valentine's day i mean growing up my parents would get me like a little bag full of like candy or something on valentine's day and this is like kind of similar i just add a few extra items <laughs> um but yeah just i just wanted to put it out there that don't feel like you have to get your kids anything for Valentine's Day because it's really not normal. Like, I don't, I feel like a lot of people don't. So, I do just because it's who I am and I love to buy gifts for my kids. So, um, I just want to get straight to the point, show you what I got. I have 12-year-old twin daughters and 4-year-old boy-girl twins. So, I'll show you all of them. So, I will start with my older girls. I found this canvas pouch in the Target dollar spot. And then I've added the little wooden name tags, um, which have an engraving on them. But I will leave all the shop links or um, links down below in the description box. There won't be many because a lot of this is just like candy and stuff. But what I do have, I'll leave down below. But these are super cute. I think they're like $5 on Etsy. Seriously, like a steal. Um, a big Hershey's Kiss, which won't fit in the bag. This is for my daughter, Casey, obviously. Um... She got a headband. This is a little like glow squishy ball. Um, yeah, lots of candy. So I got the kids Pop Rocks. Casey's favorite candy are these rips. So I got her two bags of those. This is a bath bomb. The More Than Magic is from Target, that brand. What else? Some Aaron's Thinking Putty. Typical preteen stuff, you know. Some more candy. We got them in a minis. Hearts. I thought these were really cute. I put them in these bags because they came loose. But just little tiny rings for their finger. They were like $2 or something <laughs> at a checkout. But I thought they were cute. And then a sweet tart lollipop. Or a Smarties lollipop. So that was it for her. I mean, like I said, pretty simple. It looks extravagant, but really it was really cheap. So here is Mackenzie's, my her twin, Casey's twin. Um, she got pretty much the same things, except this is her little squishy. It's a cat. And instead of a headband, she got fake nails. Um, this is her bath bomb. Uh, she also got a different color thinking putty and then instead of like the extra candy in hers I put a little heart um, cookie cutter because she loves to like bake and stuff but yeah she also got a ring hers is pink Casey's is blue and then all the same candy in there next we have my son Mason he has his little wooden sign here um, and his is in a lunchbox. So this time I wanted to, instead of just getting a little gift bag, I wanted to find like a type of box that they could reuse. So he could put his cars in here. And what's really, what's really cool about it is, is that it's like a vintage Dennis the Menace. It was only $10 at a, um, I forget where I got it actually, just like a vintage store. But we call him Dennis the Menace. So I thought it was just perfect. And he can keep like his little toys in here, some cars, whatever he wants. He can reuse it. Just like the girls with their canvas bags, they can reuse those for whatever they want. Okay, so for the little kids, I got them homemade Play-Doh. So this is from Lemon Squeezy. And it has, I don't know if you can tell, but it has little hearts in there. And it came with a little heart cookie cutter. I'm really excited about those. I thought they were super cute. And then he also got some Hot Wheel cars. I thought the little donut was cute. Um, an alligator one. And then a police car. Same type of candies except the huge Her Hershey Kiss. I got the little ones, um, a bunch of minis in this little heart thing. I love to walk around and like color and write stuff and just, I don't know what the, exactly they do, but they always have like a little notebook on them. So I found these in the Target dollar spot and I thought they were really cute. They're just little pads of paper. Um, and then this is the book I got him. Roses are pink. Your feet really stink. I thought it was very appropriate for a boy. Um, more candy 
And then they collect the Dorables. So I got the little ones each, a mystery pack of Dorables. And then this I found for like a dollar. It's just a little stamp set. But yeah, that was Mason's. Lastly, we have Harper with her wooden sign. Um, her box obviously won't fit all of this stuff in it because I got her a tiny musical jewelry box. So I'll show that when I take everything out. But we also got a peg doll set that I made out of my Etsy shop. It is Valentine's Day inspired. But she can play with this in her dollhouse. Um, along with that, I made her a little wooden peg doll horse for her. Yeah, her peg dolls, obviously. Also, Valentine's Day is inspired. So she, again, got all the candy that all the other kids got. She got the... Play-Doh, and then this is the little music box, it's a unicorn, this is the top of it, I thought that was really cute, she got the stamp set, doorbells, this is her little notepad, um, and then her book is Lola Dutch, Love You So Much, so really it's not that extreme, Sometimes even my husband is like, okay, like it's Valentine's Day, relax. <laughs> but I just truly love buying stuff for the kids. And honestly, it's not much, right? Like not much. A lot of stuff is from Target Dollar Spot or the Dollar Shore. Um, but yeah, or I made like the peg doll stuff I made myself. So, but that is it. Like I said, it's going to be quick and to the point. Um, I know you guys love like haul type of videos or like gift guide videos, so I thought I would share. I wasn't going to, but I decided to last minute because you probably have enough time to still like pick some of these items up from the store since Valentine's Day is Sunday. But don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!